Hey everyone, and welcome to the Osborne Experience with Heidi. It's been a little while since I've been on here with my face. <laughs> my son, who is three, stopped napping. And I always used to take my face videos when he was napping. Now, the child doesn't nap anymore. So my face-to-face -face videos <laughs> were kind of non-existent for a little while there. But it's midnight now and everyone's asleep. So I thought what better time to come on and show you some of our 2018 fall new releases. I just got back from convention and with our convention registration, we got this big box of free new releases that hadn't even been um, released to customers yet. So I'm gonna show them to you. There has been one round of new releases that have become available on um, the website. And I do have a box of those coming in in a few days and I'll show you those as well. Um, another round of new releases will be available in July. And then another round of seasonal, like more Christmas and Halloween new releases will be available in the fall. But let me show you what we got in our boxes. We got our catalogs, look at the new mini catalog. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Uh, and then we've got the full Big Mama Jamma catalog. Take a Sharpie to that bad boy. You ready for the new releases? I know, I know you are. This might be one of my favorites that we got in the box. Grandma's Favorite, a beautiful hardback storybook by Kane Miller. There is a Grandpa's Favorite as well. And it's about things that grandmas or grandpas like uh, and what they like to do with their grandchildren. And it's about um, when they can't be with their grandchildren, which is a little sad, but it's true for a lot of grandparents. The pictures are glossy and beautiful. So that grandma's by the sea. Um, this grandma, they are studying bugs. Oh, it's so sweet. My grandma's favorite bridge is not for cars or trucks. She plays the card game with her friends. She says, I bring her luck. And the grandma's playing bridge with her girls. I mean, that's a good book right there. And then it shows how um, children talk to their grandmas and that they've got them on the computer and on the iPad and on the iPhone. And this is just a really, really, really sweet book. And the, the last page says, her favorite time is any time my grandma spends with me. So this is just a beautiful present that you can send a grandma or a grandpa who lives far away and is missing their grandkids. Love that book so much. Uh, we were gifted Miss Molly's School of Manners. I haven't seen many manners books in my day and this is fantastic. Yes, we should, we should gift this as a last day of school gift to all of the children in our child's classrooms. So it just goes through all of the manners that you learn throughout Miss Molly's School of Manners. And it's a fun um, book slash cartoon book. Um, where the the animals are talking to each other and and showing examples of how to exhibit good manners. Oh, look at that room. Holy vey, I wouldn't want to be the person in charge of that dining hall. There's even different ways to say hello so that you can um, be cordial to someone you meet whose first language may not be English. How to apologize. Ew, my three-year-old still doesn't get it. Admit you did something wrong. Say it with meaning, no silly voices. So full of great manners. I love the sports page myself with my children getting into sports teams and even field day and gym class. So this is such a fantastic book for our growing kids. A new book for the older kids is Bully on the Bus. This is a crafted verse novel. It almost looks like poetry inside. I don't know what prose is, but when I first saw this book, I said, oh, that looks like poetry and prose. I don't know. So the back says, she's big, she's smart, she's mean. She picks on me and I don't know how to make her stop. And this is a boy saying this. 
Leroy has a secret weapon, but will it help him find the strength and courage he needs to overcome the bully's taunts once and for all? A beautifully crafted verse novel that will surprise and inspire you and warm your heart. So for example, um, it's not poetry. Um, it does, does talk about his conversations in quotes um, with, for instance, his parents and whatnot. But look at this. This is called drop-offs. Look how pretty that is, too. Bus stops, door opens, kids off, goodbye chorus. Door closes, stories chopped, words flung through windows. Bus moves, pulls away, driving off, leaving kids. Silent actors, miming words, on the bus, faces pressed to the glass, calling out, I can't hear you. Um, and the driver, changing gears, doesn't hear, doesn't want to. In a world of his own, eyes the road straight ahead, does his job, drives the bus, drops the kids safe at home. And then other pages get into, uh, again, his conversations. How cute. Leroy the Loser has a lion lunchbox. Do you think that makes him brave? I gulp reach out and try to take my lunchbox. But the bully punches my hands away and unzips my lion lunchbox, shaking all the containers until she finds cupcakes. My favorite. And there's candy on them. Ah, thanks, Leroy. Looks like I won't go hungry after all. That girl needs talking to. That was my kid. She wouldn't have cupcakes for a month. But this is gonna be a great book for those older kids read it together and start a dynamic conversation about what they should do if they encounter a bully on the bus, at school, on the playground, anywhere. For only $5.99, I think this is a great investment. I think this is 51 or 52 in our series. Number 50 was That's Not My Unicorn. So now we have That's Not My Bee and we have That's Not My Giraffe. I love the bee one, especially since they're now an endangered species. Look at how cute it is with the touchy feely patches, great vocabulary. My three and a half year old still, oh, look at the hive. <gasps> Ah, it's so cool. My three and a half year old still loves these books. They're his favorite. And he has a huge collection of them. Look how cool. Oh, so that's not my bee. Oh, ooh, sparkles. Super awesome. Love, love, love this whole collection. Another, I say everything's my favorite. Another favorite, we haven't had a new slide and see for a while. We have slide and see zoo, slide and see jungle animals. <laughs> Slide and see farm, slide and see under the sea, and now we have slide and see nighttime. Um, Mr. Peter Usborne was at convention, and he says that there's gonna be a lot of nighttime and nature books coming out, especially nighttime, because nighttime is something that children think a lot about, whether it scares them, whether it fascinates them. Nighttime is one of those topics that children love to learn about. And I think adults love to learn about too. So this is Slide and See Nighttime. Oh, so cute. Um, this is perfect for dexterity, for fine motor skills, um, for six months and above. Thick, 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 shiny, glossy pages. There's finger trails, there's cutouts. Let's see where this one is. Oh, there it is, so ready? Oh, the stars come out and the panda peeks out. These things are almost indestructible. Look at how pretty the colors are on this page. Are those badgers? I think that's what those are. Ooh, owls and raccoons, who's hiding? Oh, <laughs> for some reason I love the ones with the eyes. I think they're so funny. And the last page about going na night and the curtains go up and down or the shades. So sweet, I like that. Oh, oh the lamp too. My fat finger was covering it. Oh, so cute. So um, brand new slide and see. I love these. I love to give these for uh, baby showers because in no time the baby's going to be using it. We have a new picture book. These are those beautiful puffy hardback $9.99 books. We have tons of these and this is another fable type um, book. Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories, How the Camel Got His Hump. We have How the Zebra Got His Stripes and others. Um, these also have just beautiful pictures, great short bedtime story. 
uh, my kids love to talk about the stuff in here because again it's not true um, <laughs> but it elicits some really fun conversations we have some new magic painting books we have some fairy tale ones that just came out um, and then now we have unicorns because unicorns are all the rage and I know there are other magic painting books out there but nothing holds what is it nothing holds a candle I think that's the saying. Nothing holds a candle. Nothing compares to our magic painting books. The colors are so beautiful and vivid, just like our books. And look, okay, it's an under the sea unicorn. And my daughter can't wait to get her hands on this. And I was like, no, you need to wait till I take a video of it. She wasn't happy about it. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These make great birthday gifts. What do I have left? Just a few. Also an animal, this is about the love between a mother and her child. If you were a bird or a bug or a beast, I'd be one too. I wouldn't mind in the least. Again, another just beautiful bedtime story. We have I love you who, I love, I love you who. And Animali uh, is what I would put in the same category as this kind of a book. Just a beautiful, loving storybook, bedtime book. Um, beautiful illustrations. If you were a calf, I'd be, then I'd be a moose. I'd teach you to tug tasty twigs till they're loose. If you were a chick, then I'd be a loon. We'd glide on the lake by the light of the moon. I love loons. We have them in Maine. And they're some of our favorite birds. So it goes through all the animals. And finally, you get to the last page. Woods, water, or air, I would always be there. For wild or tame, I love you the same. read that book before my kids don't want me reading them sappy books anymore you are a star is a sweet little book that I think is great to give as a graduation gift um, for people to sign the world is a big and varied place there are so many things you can be and do sometimes you can feel a bit lost but take your time to discover what you like and what you don't and before long you'll find your way to shine so it's very simple simple text simple pictures um, but just a great message about empowerment and being yourself. It says, but don't worry, take it slow and try new things with a little snail. Um, ugh, taken out of context. Try to find your own voice. We've got our birds and the life that suits you best. So just a great empowering book. Always remember that you are a star and you'll soon find your place in the world great middle school, high school, college book instead of a card. I just bought Father's Day cards, $6.49. That's hogwash. Like, what is that? Um, this book is $8.99. So for $2 more, you have a whole book that you can sign and fill in and keep, seriously. And then finally, this has been sweeping um, the Usborne Nation. <laughs> can I say that? that's not backed up by data. But on um, all the Facebook uh, boards and groups, kids are loving this book. This is Constantino, um, and this is a new chapter series. There's more than one. Look at those beautiful pictures. So Constantino is a magician, and the book is about him, but it also gives away his secrets about how he performs his daring feats. So a little bit comic, a little bit graphic novel. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nice big words. Um, great for the reluctant reader. Great for the readers that gobble up books. Uh, I can't wait to read this one. I haven't had a chance yet, but it's coming. Um, beautiful book for $5.99. So those are all the new releases that I have so far. Again, I have another box coming in in a few days. I'm so excited to see them. So that's it. So this new round of fall 2018 books looks scrumptious. And I feel like I say that every time we have our big new releases, but I mean it this time, like big time. So you can get these books and more out now at theusbornexperience.com and you can find me on Facebook and YouTube, which you're here right now, so obviously, and Instagram. Um, at the Osborne Experience with Heidi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when the next box comes in.